Have you ever had those moments where things just in your life are going really, really well, and then all of a sudden, something unexpected happens, and you're just kind of sitting there, freaking out, your anxiety rises, your mind starts going, you start overthinking, and you start to want to have some sort of semblance of control over the situation. Well, today, that is what we'll be talking about. How do we get through those moments where everything in our lives shift and you know we, we feel helpless, we don't know what to do? Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to A Mental Monday. We are back. Um, it's good to just be back face to face with the camera. Um, not doing any makeup this time, so we're taking it back to how we used to have our mental Mondays. Now, if you're new here and you're not just stopping by, my name is Savvy and this is Beautifully Broken. It's a platform I started to help others gain self-awareness and to better understand themselves and their past and present stories so that we can heal what needs to be healed in order to move forward into a happier sense of self. Um, I believe that in healing our mental health and moving forward and bettering ourselves in that way, we have to understand the parts of ourselves that we ignore on a very consistent basis. <laughs> so I upload videos on Mondays. Um, I either do mental Mondays, which is what we're doing today, or I do mental makeover Mondays where I sit down and do my makeup and talk about a mental health topic that has been on my mind or that I've been going through. And I used to do cereal Saturdays and then it stopped, but uh, I will be continuing that series very shortly. So you may wanna hit the subscribe button if you suffer with your mental health or you know someone who does, as well as if you're into makeup and if you happen to be into uh, serial killers like I am, so. So my whole life, Control has been something that I have struggled with the most. Um, personally, I've always felt like I always need to be two or three steps ahead of any situation in order to feel like I'm prepared for whatever happens. And with that comes overthinking. And then with that comes some OCD as well. So the uncertainty that I have with the unknown, with not knowing what will happen or what is going to happen in life um it's because i have a lack of trust within myself do you trust yourself like really trust yourself just ask yourself do you trust your intuition do you trust your gut instinct do you trust when you know something's gonna happen and when you don't it's almost like you're always expecting something bad to happen because when you have so many traumatic things happen to you in such a short amount of time like i did um you kind of develop like this automatic system of, okay, well, in order to prevent myself from feeling that pain again, or feeling that shock or feeling unsafe, then I need to constantly be on the lookout for X, Y, and Z. Now that can come from you analyzing the crap out of people's behavior so that you always know what they're thinking and feeling at all times. And then you feel like you can respond in an appropriate way and it's just, you know what? It's exhausting. Um, it's exhausting. And recently for me, I hit that point again where I just, I was just in a, in a sense of bliss, in a sense of feeling safe and comfortable within me. I trusted myself again. And when you've been through a lot of trauma, you, you, you tend to lose that trust that you have within yourself. Um, I have found a correlation between trusting yourself and lack of control. It's like we think, well, crap, we should have known that that was going to happen. Or, or um, your gut will tell you that something bad is about to happen. Um, that your intuition's like, hey, something's not right. And we ignore it. We ignore it because we would like to think that maybe we're just being paranoid. Maybe we're just having anxiety or maybe we're overthinking a situation and not needing to. And it's hard to trust yourself when you're in that state of bliss and you're in that state of calm and you feel safe within your own self, within your own mind, um, and then something happens. But you will never be able to control what happens in your life. 
ever. The unknown is maybe one of the most scary aspects of this life. And when you've had a lot of trauma happen to you, it is a very scary thing to just surrender and let go and go, all right, I have to know that no matter what happens, I'll be okay and I know how to handle it. And that is essentially trusting yourself. And to get to that point, to get to the point of trusting yourself and knowing that you can handle whatever life throws at you is what you need to do in order to be comfortable with the unknown, in order to let go of control. So this week, um, that is what I've been working on. I, I don't know, I'll be honest, I don't exactly know how I really came to it, but I will walk you through my thought process. So very recently I was in a state of feeling like everything was really good and then Last week, I was hit with a situation that is very, very much out of my control. Like, I have no control over what the hell is going to happen, right? But here's the thing. I trust that no matter what happens, I'll be okay. I trust that no matter what I'm thrown into next, I'll be okay. You want to know how I got to that point? I got to that point because... I sat with myself and just talked to myself. I think we avoid talking to ourselves and having an inner dialogue, whether that be through journaling, whether it's like looking at yourself in the mirror or talking to yourself in your car or whatever you need to do, meditating and diving deep and talking to your innermost child, whatever you gotta do. Um, but I just sat with myself and reparented my subconscious in a very weird way. Um, the more you, you're there for you, the more you can be comfortable being alone and being safe within yourself and knowing and trusting that no matter what happens, you'll be there for you, then it doesn't matter what the hell life throws at you, you'll be strong enough to know that you're gonna be okay. Will it hurt? Yes. We can't avoid pain, we can't avoid sh like shock, we can't avoid trauma, you can't avoid any of these things. And I feel like having that sense of control is avoidance. We're just avoiding going through more pain or we're avoiding hurting other people or we're avoiding putting ourselves in a situation where we feel unsafe. Our mind is programmed as a survival instinct to stay safe, stay in a comfortable area. That's why it's so hard for us to push ourselves outside of our comfort zone and grow. And the only way you're gonna grow and evolve and be comfortable with the unknown is if you push yourself out of your comfort zone, but that you trust yourself enough to know that you'll be okay and that you'll be there for yourself. Our, our subconscious mind just wants to keep us from feeling that pain that we've maybe once felt before from happening again. That's why we overthink situations so much that we think that if we can see everything from every possible angle or we try to see everything from every possible point of view or like what we should do or how no the more you overthink the crap out of how someone may act or feel or how a situation may turn out or you see a certain trigger that sets off your trauma and then you start overthinking and thinking okay well this happened last time this is exactly what happened this time so this is what's gonna happen and then guess what it, it will probably won't even happen you know like you just we just drive ourselves we drive ourselves crazy trying to control every single thing in our life e everything there is so much that is outside of our control that we almost refuse to let go of and i don't know why that is there's almost a sense of freedom within embracing the unknown you know, you kind of have to just throw yourself into things, even though you don't know what's going to happen. You can't predict what's going to happen. You know, there was a time actually in my life where um, I became obsessed with psychics and tarot cards and always needing to know what someone was thinking and feeling or what was going to happen as a sense of control and actually a form of OCD. Because it scared me so bad to have to deal with unexpected factors in my life because I didn't want to get hurt again. I, I was preventing myself from feeling pain. I just always wanted to know like 
what was going to happen so that I could respond in an appropriate way. What's the point of, of knowing what's going to happen all the time, every day? What then, then where's the beauty in, in the chaos of life? There isn't any, actually. That's actually why we pick certain romantic partners as well. Totally off key, but it's like a sense of control. If you pick someone that you always go for all the time, it's because you know how it's gonna end. You know how it's gonna, you, you know exactly what's gonna happen. You know the outcome because you've done it before. And that's why it's scarier to throw ourselves into new situations, maybe a new job. Maybe moving to a new city or going for someone that you would never ever go for. <laughs> it's completely out of your comfort zone and you're like, oh God, is this gonna, I don't know, this is different. This is really different. You hit a point where you just let go of the what ifs and you let go of needing to prepare yourself constantly. And that's when I think you start living your life. Control is avoiding pain. It's avoiding growing. When that pain and that emotional turmoil happens, it's a chance for us to grow. In that moment, obviously it's not gonna feel that way. And if you are going through something, it's very painful and sudden and you just, it's not something you expected. Once you get through it and you're looking back, you're gonna have learned something about yourself or the situation. And I think to me, that is the best aspect of letting go and letting the unknown take over. The unknown chaos is beautiful, so just live in it. And that's all I have for you guys today. Pretty, uh, pretty short video. Um, it's something that I have been dealing with and going through and uh, that turning point for me with control and anxiety and overthinking was just trusting myself. Trusting and knowing that I can handle whatever comes at me. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Do me and yourself a favor this week and uh, try not to assume what may happen. Try not to overthink. Try to just be in the moment a little bit. Actually, a really good technique that I use to just stay in the moment is as soon as I catch myself overthinking and getting ahead of myself and doing the what if scenario, I bring myself back to right here, right now. And I use grounding techniques. Um, if you don't know what grounding techniques are, comment below and I'll do a video on that. Um, but that is what brings me back to the present moment or turn on your favorite song, go outside, go for a walk, do something else. You know, switch, switch gears. Um, another really useful thing for me when I start to do that is I think of five things that I appreciate about that day. Even if you can't get to five, do three. Um, and that helps me as well. So try to stay in the present this week and embrace the unknown like a warm hug. Sounds silly, but try to do it. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Share it with anyone who you think may find this useful. And other than that, I will see you guys next week for another Mental Monday. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time.